it's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I am all out of gum. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a guy in here. He's partying by himself in there. What the hell? Kill this guy too. Oh wait. Okay. So now, now what? Where am I? Oh my God! It was a trap, you bastards! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today is our 300th episode. And in honor of that, we are going to be playing Duke Nukem freaking 3D. Um, this is an absolute classic of my own. It's one of my own personal favorites from when I was a kid. Warning, adult content. As a kid, I just love seeing that. Um, I love playing Leisure Suit Larry. I love playing Duke 3D. You know, anything with, like, scantily clad women that, like, my parents did not approve of. For some reason, I just kind of liked that and wanted to play of it. Uh, play more of it, I should say. So... Uh, this was one of my prized possessions as a kid. Uh, this game, I owned it, but I did not own a computer good enough to play it. So I, you know, had to go over to friends' houses and play it. Uh, I was that kid who would come over and uh, play video games at your house. Uh, that's that's just how I was. Uh, now I have games in my own house, so I don't have to. I don't need friends anymore. Now I just play by myself. <laughs> now I still have friends. I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, as we hop in here, um, again. This is the 300th episode, so if you're just joining us, I am on a quest to play through the book 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die, and over the past three years, I've been playing games pretty much non-stop. I do about two games a week, so it's about 50 games, no wait, 100 games a year, get my math correct. So, it's a 10-year quest, we're three years in, and we've had a lot of fun along the way. I'm going to be talking a little bit about that. Um, as we get going here, but uh, without further ado, let's actually just get to the game and we'll get back to this sort of 300th episode thing in a bit We're getting a little preview of like all the weapons and stuff This is one of the sci-fi levels actually before I get started here and just uh, I'll, I'll give you a little preamble I'm not a huge fan of the sci-fi levels in this game. They feel a little too doomy for me You know like like they're from doom and they're good. They're fine But what I really like are the urban levels so we're gonna start this off on Let's Rock. And you hear Duke there. Damn, those alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. I just love Duke's like machismo attitude here. Um, obviously, now, um, here, let's just get started here. So Duke was uh, was from a Pogi Games before. He was a side-scrolling hero. Alien bastard shot up his ride and tried to steal all his chicks. So now Duke's got to, like, save all the girls and kill the alien scum. Like this dude. What are you doing standing in a box, buddy? Uh, he was just standing in a box waiting to die. Now, this is the first level. As you can see, very urban. I keep looking down there for some reason. Um, Duke Nukem 3D came out at a time when, like, Doom and stuff were still fairly recent in Quake. So the idea that you could walk around a city just, like, blew my mind. Blew my little mind as a kid. Um, at back of the blonde, bleached blonde biker bimbos. Multi-million dollar movie theater right there. What's that say? Innocent? Question mark? Okay, so there is a uh, secret over here. I've played this game a lot, and I know a lot of the secrets. You just kind of have to jump. There we go. And, lo and behold, an RPG. This is actually an awesome weapon in the Duke Nukem 3D multiplayer. Because you could, like, one-shot your enemies, and it was totally great. Here's another secret. It's a secret apartment building here. We'll use the RPG on this guy over here. Kaboom! And you get the little viscera and, and body... His eyeball, I think, blew up there. Um, that was actually another... I'm just going through the secrets so quickly because I'm so used to them, but there's another uh, poster for you. Attack of the Bleach Blonde Biker Bimbos. So as a kid, I was just blown away by the fact that, first of all, this was like an adult-themed game. Like there's, it's, it's talking about like blonde bimbos and stuff. Like it, this is, game is very condescending towards women. I don't know if they could make this same game today. I don't think it would like fly. There you go, buddy. Eat a rocket, propelled grenade. That also blew a hole in the wall. There was destructible debris, which is awesome. Um, so it's adult-themed. It takes place in urban environments. Like, when I was a kid growing up with, like, Doom and Wolfenstein 3D and stuff, like, Wolfenstein 3D is in some, like, weird German castle. That guy was hiding in a burning dumpster. Put him out of his misery. 
Um, what was that in 3D takes place in some, like, weird, you know, German dungeon? Oh, we landed on the ground, exploded blood everywhere. And also, I think, uh, can you break these things? Hold on. Where's the, uh, mighty foot? That's your quick kick. Oh, yeah, here, here's something funny you can do in Duke. So you also have, like, a foot weapon, and you can foot and mighty foot at the same time, and you can, like, run around like this. Hold on. So you can be, like, it's like Johnny Cage's, like, bicycle kick. Like, whoa, 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 Um, anyway. Uh, just being kind of stupid there. Um, there's another secret up here I forgot about, so let's go get that. Let's get our grenade launcher out. Um, but yeah, so, like, being in weird environments was fun. Like, I, I did like Doom, obviously. But it was so cool to be able to, like, go into, like, a city. You know, like, go into, like, a city and mess people up. That was so neat. Like, to be able to walk around streets and... Like, live out a fantasy of just being able to shoot monsters and stuff. I mean, really, as a kid, I wished I had Grand Theft Auto. I didn't know it at the time, but I wanted Grand Theft Auto. That game didn't exist when I was young. Um, like, you, you kids today have no idea how lucky you are. Oh, yeah, and I, you, this uses the Doom mechanic, so I'm aim, aim straight, but I will be shooting up in that window. I killed the guy in the window up there. Doom did that, too. It didn't take into account vertical, uh, vertical scrolling. Like, you can just aim forward, and you'll always hit the guy. This is the movie theater, by the way. Oh, and a body armor just hanging around. What kind of movie theater is this? Um, but yeah, there's there's something sort of like a power fantasy. Being able to walk around in urban environments and just like live out. Like, nope. Like, I, I don't actually want to go on a shooting spree and hurt anyone. But it is kind of fun, like, in, in sort of like a sandbox toy mode. Where you know you're not actually hurting anyone. Maybe you're killing monsters or whatever. Oh, that guy teleported away. What a jerk. He ran away. Oh, there he is. Enemies have weird powers in this. Um, we'll just look at this poster for a second. Sister Act 3. Back in the habit. Oh, get out of here, buddy. Um, yeah, so, so it's some kind of, like, interesting, like, power fantasy. Again, I don't really have a real urge to actually hurt anyone. You can flick light switches. But, uh, it is kind of fun to, like, go in and just mess stuff up. Kaboom! Eat it, buddy. And here's a security camera. This game had so many cool features. So you can, like, scout out different areas of the map. We've seen those. Oh, there's a guy hang- he's jetpacking around the lobby waiting for us. We'll take care of him in a second. Oh, look that bastard. He's hanging- he's gonna ambush us in the toilets. Uh, I don't know where that is. We'll find it soon enough, though. Let's see, where's this- where's this guy waiting to ambush us? Come on. There's a security camera we were looking through. Boom! 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 Oh, he's choking. We can put him out of his misery, though. With the mighty foot. Um, another secret here. Okay, there's the Atomic Hell. So Duke Nukem 3D is all about, like, atomic-themed nuclear things. So it's like the, uh, radiation symbols, like Duke's symbol. Um, oh, look, there's a mirror. Let's turn the lights on. If he doesn't know we're here, he's the stupidest monster ever. Okay, let's get this guy. Kaboom! Kaboom! Here, here's another little fun Easter egg. Not really an Easter egg, but this guy's taking a poop. <laughs> and now he's dead. That, that, oh, and he even flushed before he went. He was like, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be hygienic! And he died. Uh, you have your med pack. Oh yeah, there's also like a whole inventory here. Right now we have steroids and a medical kit. Duke was not really the anti-drug advocate uh, at all. Well, this guy and this guy, the shotgun's so satisfying. So here's our first babe, but she does not look appealing. And, uh, oops, I meant to talk to her. Hold on, let's do this. Kill. Yeah, that, that's, that's sad. Kill me. So this is what the aliens are doing. They are taking women and they are, like, mutilating them. So we're gonna go ahead and mercy kill her. When you do kill, um, the women who've been abducted, or even women who haven't been abducted, I think normally aliens spawn, they try and fight you over them. But, uh, on this level of difficulty, I guess not. And we'll kill this guy here, too. We're in the projector booth now. We just found a key card, a la Doom. Look, there's more atomic health up here. And that unlocks the door over here. This this level's, like, riddled with secrets. The thing is, I think most Duke Nukem levels are riddled with secrets. But I only know the secrets in the first couple levels. Because that those are the levels that were in the shareware version. As a kid, that's what I played. So, boom, there we go. That's the movie we all came here to see, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you'll notice there's a little uh, Legend of Zelda-style uh, crack on the screen there. And so we know from uh, gaming that, oops, <laughs> that if we fire a rocket, there we go. If we fire a rocket and don't hit ourselves, we will find a secret door. 
All right, so and in, in here we have more dudes. Just a bunch of it's a dude party over here. All the aliens seem to be male. Where are your hot babes? You wouldn't have to steal mine if you got some of your own. Maybe these are just like like the jerk aliens of the universe, like the ones who like can't get a date and who are like super awkward and like antisocial, you know, like the trench coat mafia wearing dudes. And like they do have females in their species, but the females wouldn't be caught dead with these losers. So they had to come to like our planet and try and steal our women. Like what a bunch of jerks. Um, there's a secret up here. If you don't know what I did, there's uh, it's hard to look up and down this game, but there's like a little, see it's like a secret there. You jump on the trash can. They get something called a pipe bomb. And it's basically like a remote control grenade. <laughs> Just kill that guy. Did he turn into rats? Did you see that? Did he turn into rats or did the rats come from the garbage can I exploded? Here's by the way, the hole I made in the wall. So uh, yeah, the levels are very like non-linear. You can kind of do them in whatever order you want. Like I could have run into the movie theater this way and skipped the whole alley, but I'm trying to go through these levels pretty thoroughly because it's pretty fun to uh, explore them all. Yeah, there's like an earthquake. I guess it like blew up this hole in the wall where you can hide if you, you're feeling inclined. Oh, there's a dude over here. Kill this guy. I think this is the projector booth where we were. You know, let's turn on the light so we can see what's going on. Yeah, we can see all our all our handiwork and all the dead bodies. Can uh oh wait, we want that. Okay, well whatever. I was gonna say we want that uh, to stay open, but whatever. We've seen the movie, it's just her dancing repeatedly in her underwear for about 90 minutes. Nothing happens. Oddly enough, it has an 89% on IMDB. Um, hey, he's playing pinball. And he was playing an arcade game. I approve of your choice in retro games, sir, but you are an alien. Oh my god. What's happening here? How did that guy... He was immune to shotgun shells. Somehow. Oh my god, the viscera. The viscera, just their bot. Did you see it was like their arms and their eyeballs and stuff? There's a mod you could get for this game that would like triple the amount of viscera when you explode, guys. It was pretty awesome. And look, now we're back down in the theater here. See what I mean about non-linear? Like these levels are all over the place. You could probably speedrun this level in like 10 seconds if you knew which way to go. This is pretty funny. Here's a Duke Nukem 3D 2 video game. And when you go to use it... Mm, don't have time to play with myself. <laughs> Little double entendre for you there. We did get the Hollow Duke though. So Duke also has all sorts of like little interesting abilities. So look, the Hollow Duke is like a fake Duke Nukem that will stand there and aliens will get tricked by him and shoot him. Doesn't work so well in multiplayer because the Hollow Duke just sort of stands there. Um, but that is totally from Total Recall. I'm calling it. Like this game, it sort of borrows, but probably more aptly described steals lines from movies like They Live and Evil Dead and Army of Darkness. And um, I know that uh, Bruce Campbell, the guy who played Ash Williams in the Evil Dead movies and Army of Darkness, was not really happy. Or it was him or Sam Raimi. One of them, they were asked, like, are you flattered that Duke Nukem uses your lines? And they were like, no, he straight up is stealing our lines. We're not, we're not flattered. That's not flattery. That's theft. Um, which is fair enough. Like, Duke Nukem, literally, like, who wants some is totally something that Ash says. I think one of Duke's, like, uh... Uh, canonical lines. Hey, get out of here, buddy. Is, uh, it's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum and I'm all out of gum. And that is, like, straight out of They Live. Like, that's totally lifted. So, this game was controversial not only for its portrayal of women. Three enemies left. Where were they? They were probably cowering in a corner. So, this game was controversial not only for its portrayal of women and its objectification of women, but also, and its violence level but then also because it sort of borders on the line of plagiarism. But hey, you know, as a kid, I wasn't as aware of all that stuff. I still like the game. So the Hollywood Holocaust completed. What the hell? Two secrets missed. I honestly don't know where those secrets are. I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I know where they are. I guess the three enemies were in the secret spots. I love this sort of uh, beat, though. Duke Nukem has great music. The intro song uh, called Grab Bag, I think is terrific and i have definitely downloaded an mp3 of that and listened to it in my adult life and this song too it's uh, this and the between level song of doom when you're between levels in doom that also has a great song i don't know why but sometimes these little like video gamey tunes kind of get stuck in my head i really enjoy them all right let's rock let's rock 
Time for the red light district, guys. So we have we have moved along. <laughs> I love when they choke. Hey, look, that guy's flying around a ship. Not for long though. Get on the ground and die. Um. I uh I like how we went from like a dirty movie theater straight up into a porno mag shop. If I can kill this LAPD, and they're portraying cops as pigs, literally as pigs. It has the subtlety of an elephant. Um, they, they were going for social commentary, but they just were like, subtlety, who needs that? Look, you can buy smokes. Like, this game is literally not for kids in any, in any way, shape, or form. Um, and I own this when I was, I think, like, 12 or 14. I guess it's getting pretty old. Like, I wasn't a kid anymore, definitely. But my parents definitely did not know about this game. This is not the kind of game you admit to your parents you own at any age. Even even in my current age, they're like, have you heard of this game, Duke Nukem 3D? I'm like, no, no, I, I, I'd i never play a game like that. I don't know, Mom. Um, because, you know, in her eyes, I've never done anything bad. But we all know that's not true, right, guys? Um, anyway, so uh, as we explore this, uh, <laughs> this porno mag shop with dirty movies and booths with toilet paper, where people, I guess, come and watch these dirty movies, don't know what else they do. Uh, this this is like a such an adult-themed episode. Way to way to pick it for your 300th, eh, AJ. Um, uh, I can't. I didn't. I didn't bind up and down aiming. So whatever. That trash can will forever remain a mystery. Hey, that guy was watching the movies. Sorry to interrupt you, buddy. Sorry to interrupt you and kill you. I kill this guy too. Anyway, as we're exploring this, uh, you know, this adult theater. Um, as I say, this is the 300th episode in the Thousand One Games. Let's play before you die. Uh, quest. The quest to play that book. And boy, what a ride it has been so far. I gotta say that this year has been a just a terrific year, I think. Um, the channel has grown, first of all, quite a bit in this past year. I mean, I know, you know what, I, I'm a small channel. I have, I have no illusion to that. I don't, I don't think I'm like, you know, the next PewDiePie or anything like that. I, I'm happy to just sort of be have my like little niche audience. We're like lost in the dark here. Um, hey, don't shoot me. Where are we going here? Hold on. Where's we need a map? This is this is where maps are useful. There we go. Um, yeah. So yes, I'm still a small channel, but I'm actually like totally fine with that. First of all, um, because ooh, look power up. Um, because I uh, I feel like I serve a niche audience, but in with that in mind, I uh, feel like we found a lot of cool new people this year. Um, there's some people who've been regularly leaving comments as of light, which is awesome. So I'm getting to know some new folks, hearing about their gaming memories as well as mine. We've also played some really great games over this uh, over this past year. Like, not every single one has been up my alley. And I have had some disagreements where I've played a game. Oh, that was so satisfying. Just machine gunning them down out of the air. Um, I... <laughs> Duke Nukem must die. Very subtle. Let's kill this guy too. So we have obviously the the machine gun here, which is totally great. I think it's called the chain gun or something like that. He's like trying to shotgun us from the street. Let's go down and kill him. Let's. I like to see the fear in my my opponent's eyes when I gun them. Oh, is that was that the guy? Did he get in the building? Holy crap! He's playing for keeps. By the way, this uh, you had to figure out the sequence here. By trial and error, and I just happen to know it's the first and the last. But as a kid, you would try like one and two, no one and oh, then you get it. Um, so it's not a hard sequence, no, not not hard puzzle to solve. That's that's literally the extent of puzzle solving in Duke 3D. Three buttons, two of which you have to turn on, you figure it out. There's only like what six combinations? Not even that. I think there's three combinations. Well, let's figure this out. There's first and second, second and third. And first and last. So there's only three possibilities. You have a one in three chance of guessing it right off the bat. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I've played a lot of great games over this past year. I played some games that I didn't think were so great, to be totally honest. Oh, yeah, and we also have a jetpack. Look at this. Woo! You can fly. Um, I forgot about that. That's probably how you get to the secrets in the first level. Use your jetpack and fly up somewhere. I forgot to look for that. Um... So yeah, sometimes I play games that people said were classics, and the book said were classics, and I tried it, and I thought, eh, I don't know about that. Oh yeah, here's another. You kind of have to guess. Now there's four buttons. Like, what do you do? Well, uh, I'll reveal the secret to you. It's that. <laughs> Again, it's getting a little harder. The puzzles are like, well, now we'll give them six options, but 
easy to figure out. And the building explodes. That was always a cool part in the game. Um, but you know what? We don't have to all agree about uh, about games. You know, like there's you might be watching Duke Nukem 3D thinking, yeah, GA, it's kind of a juvenile game, and I don't know, like there's so many better shooters. Like I'm just not a fan of that one. We can go down in the sewer. Let's do this real quick and just see what's down here. Oh, there's a babe and health. Cool. Now let's get the hell out of here. We'll leave the babe to her fate. And jetpack. The jetpack was really useful in multiplayer. And I think we have the key. There we go. Um, but then there, there, you know, there were some games that I didn't know about that uh, I, I played. And, you know, that's, I think, for me, the real joy of this, like, 1001 quest is that, first of all, I'm, I have an excuse to go back and play old games that I like. Like, I don't know about you guys, but, like, I like Duke Nukem 3D, and you might not like this particular game, but there's probably games you like. If you're watching this video, I'll venture to say that you might like a video game or two. There might be one or two you could point to that you could say you like. But, like, I don't know about you guys, but even though there are these, like, old classic games that I like... I like never play them anymore, you know, like it's it's so rare for me to like sit down and be like I'm gonna play Duke 3D this afternoon, like I just I just don't have the time or when I do have the time It's like I think of other things I should be doing so this actually gives me an excuse to play some games that um, That are classics that I know I like that. I just haven't really played in a long long time oh, This is cool by the way look you can play pool watch this blink Well, that sucked. Oh, we just sank the cue ball Okay, I wish I could aim up and down, but you guys get get the gist. I'm knocking the balls around the table. When uh, <laughs> when I played pool in college, me and my friend who always played together joked, like we'd play two on two, and me and my friend would always play together. We joked that we were team sloppy balls because our balls were always all over the table. And uh, I think we also said like sloppy balls always finish first or something. I don't know. We had we had a whole bunch of like imagery. You know, what? it. I feel comfortable telling you guys that in uh, Duke Nukem 3D, because the game is already so raunchy, I mean, like, my raunchiness pales in comparison to Duke 3D, so, Team Sloppy Balls, there you go. Um, but yeah, like, I, like, I just don't sit down, oh, money? Cool. I just don't sit down and, like, play these games as much as I wish I did these days. So it's, like, a nice excuse to play these games. It's a nice excuse to try games I've heard of for years and never tried, which is pretty cool. And, yeah, you know, there have been some games that people say are classics that I've tried that I have, like, disagreed with. Uh-oh. Let's get rid of these guys. <laughs> um, but that's okay, I think. You know, like, I don't like every single game that you like, and you don't have to like every single game that I like. Um, I think there's a lot of overlap. Like, a lot of the games that people like, I have also liked. And I have really enjoyed being exposed to new games and, and figuring out the ones that I actually like. Um... So yeah, I've just been enjoying the journey. Oh, this is... So here, by the way, the first babe that uh, isn't abducted by aliens. And you can just hand her money. She does not react at all, though. And then there is uh, the O.J. Simpson car chase on TV. Didn't understand that as a kid. Watched the O.J. movies as an adult. I get it now. Um, if you do kill a babe, aliens will spawn to rescue her. But uh, they're usually pretty feeble, so easy to kill them. You shouldn't go around killing babes, though. So as far as me enjoying the quest, you know, those are my thoughts on it. I, I feel like um, I'm curious, like, what your guys' experiences are for uh, for this 1001 quest. Like, are you guys... I mean, obviously, if you're watching this video, you're, you've been enjoying the quest. You've been enjoying having me check these games out. I'm curious, like, what the angle is for you. Um, do you guys... Wait, the red card. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? I think it's like right in there. Boom. See, you know all the secrets when you when you grow up with a game. Um, but do you guys like watching me play games that uh, I've played that that you played a lot as a kid? So like just seeing seeing games for nostalgia purposes, or do you like to see me play games you've never seen before and be like, "Well, that's actually pretty cool." Like, do you like getting exposed to new games? Like, what do you like? Oh, what the heck? Oh my god! I didn't even realize I was low on health. Oh, and I lost all my weapons. Oh no, that's not good. Um, okay, well I guess we, we get us we get a chance to like redo this level. Um So it gives me gives me more of a chance to talk. And actually I think the next level isn't urban, and I said I really like the urban levels, so uh oh. Okay, here here's something else you did as a kid. Cheated! You just straight up could give yourself all the stuff you wanted. And we just totally did that. You know what? In the in the spirit of uh 
And I'm not I'm not trying to play this game like hardcore or anything. Oh, and I used my bed pack too. I should have been using that. I didn't realize I was low on health before. Um, in the spirit of just sort of having fun with this game, I'm not necessarily holding myself to a strong standard of we have to play it for real. So yeah, we just cheated. But you did this when you were a kid. You just messed around with the levels. You guys have seen this part anyway. You don't really need to see me go through it again. Um, but yeah, what, what, what's, what do you like about this channel? Um, and have there been any like games that you know I've played that you've been like, whoa, like that's really cool. Like I didn't know about that. Um, I feel like if there's at least one game for each of you like that, then this this you know little uh, little experiment, the thousand and one quest has served its purpose. Um, and you know, going going off of the idea that um, I haven't necessarily 100%, you know, been on board with absolutely every game that I've tried. Um, I think we can agree that the book has also made some rather interesting choices. We'll put interesting in quotation marks where it suggested some games that some of us have been like scratching our head at, being like, "Really? Is is that a game that should be in the thousand one games you must play before you die? Like, is it that good?" Um. And yeah, now now I also have gotten some cool recommendations this past year, and uh, there have been some fun games that I played like off the books as well, like just in my Saturday series, like games that I knew were good. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again! This is crazy. Hold on, let's let's switch to a more fun weapon. No, we don't want to reveal that just yet. We're not gonna use any weapon that we haven't earned yet, but on the next level, I do want to like showcase some weapons to you guys because I think that's fun. Boom! Boom! Just blow these guys up into pieces. Okay, here's a strip club where we died at. Yes, this is a strip club. Um, again, it's uh, yeah. There's the strippers coming out of the floor as as they do. Oh my God! Don't shoot me, buddy. Okay, we got him. I think we got him all. All right, here's the strippers, and uh, of course you can pay the money to see tassels. Those are tassels. There's no nudity in this game, guys. But you can uh, shake it, baby. And uh, I think there's another kind. Yeah, there's like two modes of dancers. This one doesn't ever turn around to face you. Shake so you just give her money. You wanna shake it, baby. You want to dance? I like how he asked her if she wants to dance. And she's like literally dancing in front of him. Anyway. Um, so here's where you have to go. Up in the vents. To a secret place. I actually have no idea how you do this without going through this like secret area like there must be a way to uh, pass this level without doing this but like damned if I know this is the only way I know how to do it um, we'll just stick with the RPG because it kills these guys pretty quick my god I'm, I'm so close to dying it's it's uncanny boom should have taken your opportunity to not grunt at me but to shoot me buddy uh, there's another guy oh my god 40 armor, 60 health. Oh, there's another guy. Get out of here. Okay, now we do have the jetpacks. So we can just fly up here, but you're supposed to, like, jump there. What the? Who's shooting me? Oh, there's a guy down there. Oh, there's guys everywhere. This place is littered with pig cops. Get, flee, run away. Oh, my God. Oh, no, we died again. Are you kidding me? Oh, you know what? I need to save my games. Damn it. Okay, now I'm just going rocket crazy. I just want to kill all these guys. I don't want to take any more damage. I'm playing the game very cautiously now. This is rocket all of you, all of you punks. So you just all, if everyone could just leave me alone, that would be terrific. We can like run our way through this too. We don't even have to like, look how fast you can like run through the level. Let God sort him out. Ah, uh, another, another awesome Duke Nukem 3D line. Okay, let's uh, get our get our, our our way in here, and we are zooming through this level. See, dying doesn't really matter in Duke 3D when you have all the weapons. Oh my God! Let's just scoot by these guys. Let's kill these guys. I want to do this part honestly because we haven't got to this part yet. But here we go. Boxes. And who is shooting me? Can you stop? Man, the, the shotguns actually really hurt. I'm pretty sure this is a secret. Yeah, first aid. We definitely need that. Um, 
There's a dude there. That's gotta hurt. And boom, they trapped us. We're gonna fry your ass, Duke Nukem. That uh, that sucks. It was a trap all along, is what I was trying to get to. How how anticlimactic. We got there like twice and died both times. But anyway, it was a big elaborate trap that they planned for us. So uh, on to the next level. And I think now we're actually totally out of the urban environments. Oh, I mean like an electric chair. Yeah, they, they sent us to prison. So now here you start with all your weapons and stuff gone. And you gotta like, uh, just like kick this guy to death. All right, there we go. Press these switches, see what happens. Oh my god. Wait, did I not get a weapon for that guy? I gotta kick this guy to death too. Oh, and I, what? And I'm dead. Okay, hold on. Sometimes you get a weapon when you kill these guys. I think you just gotta get lucky. How is he missing me? He missed me twice. That's that's embarrassing. Oh, there we go, a pistol. Let's kill this guy. I do like how you have to reload, but uh, there's no reload button as far as I know. So it just kinda happens when you run out of ammo. Oh man, they all came to like watch me die. One cop and a couple of dudes. No, three dudes. They're all dead. They were probably on some kind of zany adventure of their own. It was like the bat, uh, the uh, hangover or something. Okay, so there seems to be shotgun ammo hidden underground behind the electric chair, as you know is common to do. Now this level I actually do not know at all, so we'll play through this level. But I'm gonna be kind of be figuring out as I go, um, which goes to show you. I lived off of the shareware version of this game. I played the first two levels over and over, and I played the first two levels on multiplayer over and over and over again. I used to go to my friend's house after school. Again, I own the game. Well, actually, okay, I'm, I'm confusing you guys. First of all, we played the shareware version of this game like crap, uh, or, or to death. Um, hey, look, there's a switch up there. If I could aim up or down, that would be helpful, but again, I did not bind those keys. Stupid me. There's probably something back there. That's okay. We don't need it. I guess aliens are religious because they were here praying. And what what are they praying to, though? Because that does not look like Jesus. Um, so we played the shareware version to death. We played the crap out of that game. And then um, we liked it so much that I personally bought the full version, but I didn't own a computer good enough to play it. So I would go over to my friend's house, uh, the, the friend who I played the shareware version at, and I installed the full version on his computer and we played on his, so that's how that all worked. Um, but we also played a lot of multiplayer. Oh, this is gonna make me dizzy. Yeah! Damn, I can't believe that worked. We also played a lot of multiplayer. We had another friend who owned this game and we would literally, we'd call him up on our modems, our 14.4 baud modems. For those of you who don't know, it's the thing that goes bee, dee, lee, 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 like a fax machine. And we'd call them up and we'd play. They weren't called death matches, they were called Duke matches. But we'd play on the first two levels. That and the very last level uh, is like a big stadium with like weapons that just rain from the sky from like a blimp that you explode and there's just weapons everywhere. And that was like a fun level to play uh, as well. Here's a trip mine. Um, oh, okay, he's not gonna do it. But if he walked through that laser, he would have died because the laser would have got him. There's a guy just hanging out down there. Got him. These, these shotguns have like tremendous range. It's nuts. I remember the shotgun was also like the main weapon in uh, Doom. You know, it was like the primary, your go to gun. You just shotgun everybody. Guess we could have blown up those barrels. We, bl we blew them up after the fact, but we could have done it beforehand. Oh, look, Atomic Health again. Anything else down here? Wait, where am I? Uh, I'm in a cell. Oh, and there's a babe. Oh, interesting. All right, so that's a little secret. For those of you who didn't know, like me, didn't even know. Found found another secret. I right, see what's going on. Oh, we need the yellow key. So we need to go find the red key, wherever that may be. Let's see if we can figure it out. These levels are, are non-linear, but they're not that complicated. Um, so anyway, the Thousand One Quest, yeah, I've had a lot of fun this year, a lot of a lot of cool people, um, fun games. I'm curious to hear what your highlights were, if there was a particular game or something that I played that you like quite liked. 
Um, but beyond beyond the, that, you know, things are going strong. I'm looking forward to uh, to a, another solid year. I have a, a lot of fun games kind of lined up already um, that I know I'm going to play. Um, so that's quite exciting. I don't want to give anything. You know, I'm, ta I'm talking super vague here, but I don't want to give anything away. Um, this is fun when it's like kind of a surprise. God, can we jump this? We totally can. Oh my god, but there's a lot of lasers. Interesting. Okay. Yeah! Oh! That didn't work. Alright, well, back back on uh, death row. Uh, once more into the breach. Uh, that's okay. Again, gives us more time, more time to hang out together, guys. More time to hang out together. Um, it's funny to think like the the 2D Duke Nukem games, like Duke Nukem 1 and 2. They were like 2D side scrolling a pogey games. Like if you ever played like Commander Keen, they were kind of like that. Only you did have a gun and stuff. Like you were a little bit of a bad, but you were like a cartoon. You weren't like this uh, 3D dude. And there was like no overt, you know, like babes and stuff like that. It was not an adult themed game. It was like a kid's side scrolling shooter game like Commander Keen. And they took it and they made this. It's so interesting. I guess we can't talk about Duke Nukem without also mentioning Duke Nukem Forever, which is like the worst title ever created for a game. Not because the title's bad, but just because it literally did take them forever to make the game. Like, it, it was prescient of them to come up with that title. Like, did they know something we didn't? Like, they had no intentions of ever finishing this game? Because they it took them freaking forever. And then when it came out, it wasn't even that good. Um, I've, I honestly haven't played it myself. I would like to one day, but... I've not I've never heard good things about it so I'm like kind of not in a rush I'm like well one day before I die I guess I'll play it but like you know who has the time who is the time a uh, blue card I think the blue card was over here possibly oh, shoot. I don't have my uh, quick kick aligned to like a good button um, oh you know what we do have to do we do have to like experiment with weapons so you guys can see some of the other cool weapons in this game because you do got to get pretty far to get stuff. Here, you know what? There, we just have all the weapons. Here's a fun one. Um, this is called the Shrink Ray. It's like, honey, I shrink the kids, only portable. And you shrink guys down, and then they, like, run around like, oh, my God! And then you can, like, squish them under your boot. <laughs> so the Shrink Ray is actually pretty fun. Oh, and now we have the, the blue key card, too, so we don't even need that. Um, another weapon that's fun. Oh, this is just sort of like the double rocket launcher thing it's actually kind of a cool gun here let's find a guy let's find a guy and make him wish he had never been born there we go this is called the devastator i think and uh yeah it's, it's good for just taking dudes out or pigs i guess in this case so that's fun we, we can also place our own trip mines if we want so we could like put one there and then if the enemy walks through it then they get lasered which I've never I don't never really use the trip mines all that much, but this is like one of the funnest guns. Let's find a guy. Because we can freeze him, sub-zero style. And then you can go up and you can kick him. Oh wait, he's on an angle. Here we go. You kick him and he dies. Can you stop shooting me in the back? I'm trying to showcase some weapons here, dude. Okay, well we're totally entering this level with all the weapons. Because I was trying to show something off. You had to be so rude and kill me. There you go. And we shatter him. That's actually a pretty cool gun. Um, there's no, like, BFG gun like in uh, Doom. Like, there's no giant gun. I think the first time I played this game... What happens if you combine these? Hold on. Like, if we froze a guy... And then we shrunk him. What would happen? Oh, they're killing their own guys! Can you guys stop doing that? I want to try and shrink you. Oh my god. Where's the shrink gun? I can't find it. Oh, it's seven? Okay, seven and zero. Okay, here we go. We, we hit him with that. Oh, and then it just shatters him. Okay, well, there you go. You can't be shrunk and frozen at the same time. Can we shrink you first? I've never tried this before. And then can we freeze you? It's like going right over his head. Now let's just squish him. I like how once they get shrunk, they don't even try and fight back. They're just like, maybe if he doesn't see me, he won't kill me. But of course, we know that's not true. I will find a way to kill you. Like that, with a dual rocket launcher. 
But yeah, Duke Nukem was not badass when he was first created. He was just like this side-scrolling dude. And they turned him into some like badass machismo dude. I don't know. It was cool when you were a kid to like see that happen. But uh, you know, maybe maybe we're too mature for that these days, guys. So now we're getting into more sci-fi levels. I think we're escaping prison here. I don't know if we can shrink turrets. Like, like, where are we even? Just keep going this way. Or hold on, can we drop a holoduke. Wait, let's let's try and use the holoduke and like, look, they're shooting at him. All right, let's go with this. We haven't seen much in the machine gun. I like the machine gun. It is actually pretty useful. Like, like you just riddle those guys with bullets. Don't have any time to react. Where are we supposed to go here? Oh, the red key card. Oh, okay. So then we want to go back up here and use the red key card. Gotcha. Secure area. Um, later we do fight more than just pigs and dudes. There's, there's guys who have like rockets for hands and stuff like that. And like this guy, I think is like a big bad guy. The chain gun cannon. Okay. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do in here or? Oh look, there's like a door there. Okay, hold on. Let me flick this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a guy in here. He's partying by himself in there. What the hell? Kill this guy too. Oh wait. Okay. So now, now what? Where am I? Oh my God! It was a trap, you bastards! Man, I can't believe it's taking us this long to pass this level. Good thing we're cheating, right, guys? Oh, by the way, you have a crosshair. I didn't have it on because it kind of felt like cheating, but what the hell? Let's just go for it. We we've come this far. Let's just let's just go all out. So, uh, Duke Nukem is one of the games, the book of thousand one video games you must play before you die. And I, I, again, I'm a little biased here, but I personally kind of feel like I could maybe make that recommendation. I fully recognize it's not going to appeal to everyone. And it is a little dated, you know. But I think as far as sort of like the humor and the gunplay mechanics, oh, I didn't even think of this. You could shoot those. Interesting. Okay, can you get out of here? You know what? Let's, uh, let's see what this switch actually does. There we go. What did that do? Anything? Anything? Where is it? Nothing. Oh, there's steroids behind that Jesus. Alien Jesus thing. Anyway. Um, oh. Look at this. Ah, uh, there's atomic health up there. Sort of. So I guess you have to be, like, standing there and... Oh, what the hell? There's a hanged priest! This game's hardcore. Or, like, a... Is that a woman? Can't tell if that's a man or a woman. Oh, I got another atomic health out of him, though. That was truly a blessed member of the clergy. Um, but yeah, it, it is dated, but, you know, like, the mechanics are actually still pretty fun. If you can find a friend to play Duke Match with, this game is definitely a lot of fun. I didn't talk too much about it, but I have a lot of fun memories of playing this game after school. And, like, uh, just, just finding my friend. It was my friend named Stanley. We get together. We play Duke Nukem. We really didn't do anything with each other besides play Duke Nukem. It was a very sort of like grade six, you know, grade seven relationship where it's like literally he was my Duke Nukem friend. Other than that, we didn't really have much in common, but this was before the era where you could just find random partners to play with on the internet. So you took what you could get. If you had a friend in class who liked to play a game you did, then you guys played that. And that was what your friendship was based off of. And uh, I have no regrets about playing this game with Stanley. It was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, so there is some fun gameplay here. It is kind of like, uh, it is, it is, you know, it is, it is what it is. It's Duke Nukem 3D. There's babes. He's a sexist, and uh, it's uh, you know controversial for violence and all sorts of stuff. I don't even think it's like that violent these days, but you know. Um, but I, I still kind of think there's some fun gameplay here. But hey, what do you guys think of Duke 3D? Do you agree with my assessment? Again, as I just said in this video, you know, not every game that is considered a classic that I've tried over this past year have, have I actually thought is a game that I enjoyed. But in the same respect, 
not every game that I think is amazing is one that you guys have to agree with me. You know, you guys are allowed to disagree. Um, how do you open this, I wonder? See, this is it. Like, you, I, I, I don't know how to beat this level. Um, it's sad, but level 3 of Duke Nukem 3D is where my skills tap out. So I'm, I, I'm happy to wrap this game up at this point. Um, but yeah, like, what do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have your own thoughts? Um, whatever your thoughts are, um, feel free to share them. Oh, God, that did not go well. What? How did that not kill him? Ridiculous. Those kill me in, like, one hit. What? How did that not kill him? It's a pipe bomb to the freaking face. Dear Lord. Um, and whatever you think of Duke Nukem 3D here, guys, as I say, it's been a great year. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed chatting with a lot of you guys in the comments. Um, I hope more of you guys will take me up on my uh, offer to uh, always be willing to talk to you. Um, if you have anything fun to say, fun to add about this game, please do so. And, uh, yeah, it's it's been a great three years. Thank you so much for sticking around uh, for with me over that time. And I hope you'll continue to do so in the next year. As I say, i got some fun games lined up. Fun games that are from the book. Fun games that I myself enjoy that are not in the book or that people have recommended to me. So, we just, we got a lot of fun games to play, guys. And as always, you know, this is more about the journey and just messing around with these games and, like, having fond memories of them uh, while we do. And, uh, yeah, can't go wrong with that. There's, there's really no way to lose. This is win, win, win. There's, there's, uh, there's literally no downside to watching my channel and clicking the like button for absolutely every single one of my videos and sharing it with all of your friends and your family and your co-workers, sending out newsletters, creating an unofficial Gaming J fan club. You know, like all these things will only enrich and enhance your lives. So please, you know, do them in abundance. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be here continually lost on this level till we meet again. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. Thanks for the great year, and I look forward to the next one. And, uh, peace.